Oh, hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Oh, hey guys. 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 Oh, hey guys, welcome back to the show. Before we get into today's program, the Oscars was last night. Ooh, wow. Which brings us to our new segment, the Oscars. Who cares? Let's see who won Best Picture. Everything all the time, uh, do what you want. Best Actress, Michelle Yeoh. Everyone, everywhere, all the time. Everything, all the time. Everything, all the time. Everyone, everywhere, all the time. This now concludes the Oscars, who cares? Well, anyway, guys, this weekend I opened up an application on my mobile phone. It's called Twitter. You know, not the, be not the best name. But I open up this application and I see one of my favorite content creators. Her name is Michaela J. Speeder. Michaela J. Peterston. Peterston. Peterstone. She's the daughter of Jordan J. Speederman. And uh, this has all been deleted now, but I, th I thought this was, I was like, ooh, something is interesting here. She goes, Dad, Dad, <laughs> Caps Lock, Dad, Caps Lock, you can't retweet this on Twitter. My eyes will never recover. Oh, God. Oh, God. I wonder what it was. Uh, I, so I can't show this, and it's since been deleted, but over the weekend, Jordan J. Speederman tweeted, such fun and unbelievable techno nightmare Chinese Communist Party hell. He retweeted some weird account that only grandpas find on social media. And the account was saying, what's going on in China? Three children policy? Warning. Graphic pictures. And then it posted pictures that turned out to not be the Chinese Communist Party. They actually were not from anywhere in China. They were from the UK. And they were from a BDSM male milking. <laughs> They were from a male sniffing. They were from a m male milking dungeon, so you can imagine what those pictures <laughs> might look like. Uh, this is some kind of fetish kind of thing. <laughs> Doing that. Doing that. So just to be a hundred percent clear, Jordan Peterson just retweeted a video of a BDSM quote male milking dungeon in the UK, claimed to be footage of human uh, human rights abuses in China. <laughs> <laughs> so keep in mind what we just saw there what just happened this guy jordan peterson he sees <laughs> he sees something that's obviously fake on twitter oh, gotta, tweet me. Gotta, retweet this! gotta retweet this to my average age 14 fans g -g 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 -g. keep that in mind what we just saw while we watch the intro to this daily wire jordan peterson video you should accept yourself just the way you are oh what does that say about who I should become. Is that okay. just now off the table because okay. I'm already good enough in every way? Oh. So am I done or something? Amazing. Get the hell up. Get your act together. Adopt some responsibility. Put your life together. Develop a vision. Unfold all those manifold possibilities that lurk within. Be a force for good in the world and that'll be the adventure of your life. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God, so profound. The prof I can't. Was that ter was that a clip from Terrence Malick's Tree of Life? I can't. Oh, I can't even see too good on that one. Oh, it's so breathtaking, guys. <sighs> Take a rest now. <laughs> oh, the splendor and majesty, the splendor and majesty and profundity of a guy who, <laughs> you know, the same day that video was uploaded, he's like, China has d milking facilities. China has d milking facilities, guys. Milking facilities, listen to me! So if you're just somebody who's having a little bit of an attitude on Twitter, like many of us, you know, you look at this and you go, ah, look at this. You know, you, we all make fun of the old man, the old man with dementia. We ah, look at grandpa. Grandpa's making another mistake. Oh, grandpa can't find his medicine. <laughs> you know, we all have a good time with that. But I was wondering, some of his fans, average age, what, 13, 12, see this. Uh, what do they think? So I went to the Jordan Peterson Reddit, backslash Jordy P. So it looks like Jordan Peterson has just quote tweeted fetish porn because he thought it was footage of a Chinese breeding facility. He thought it was this. Why do you guys continue to take him seriously? <laughs> okay, so this is one of his fans responding. Why would we shut down someone intelligent who is valid 90 <laughs> 90 plus percent of the time? I wonder where they got that figure. We are not the hate-filled cancelers in this scenario. 
and then uh, somebody responds to him. And this has one. It has one. This has one down vote. He saw an image of white guys with mechanical flashlights stroking their <laughs> with a matrix green filter overlaid on top of it, and thought, "Yeah, seems like a CCP facility to me." That doesn't read as someone who is very intelligent. You know. You know. Also, very glad Mickey Peterson stepped in. His daughter, Michaela Peterson, stepped in on this one because, uh, you know, if the average age of your fan, you know, your devoted follower is, what, 15, 14, whatever. If a lot of the people following you are minors, you might want not want to tweet out pornography, Jordy Peterson. That's a little, that's a little of what we call a pervert alert. Pervert alert. Pervert alert. Okay, but here's the thing about this weekend and Jordy Peterson tweeting is that that one might not even be the funniest one. This next one, I saw a screenshot of it first. I was like, that's probably fake. There's no way. There's no way whatever that is, is real. Somebody's g giving Jordy a hard time. No, no, it's real. Here we go. He retweets an article from CNN, and it says, Women in Berlin can now swim topless in the city's public pools if they choose to. It's being hailed as a step forward for gender equality in the German capital. Okay, I would say who cares on that one. Here's Jordy. Absolutely. <laughs> Abs absolutely everything you do. At, at CNN. At CNN. He at CNN. So he's talking, he's talking to CNN. Absolutely everything you do, CNN, is pathetic virtue signaling. Thank, okay, here we go. Here where is where it gets real interesting. Thank God, thank God, Nimides. Thank God, ni okay. So he's he's under the influence. Let's just say it looks like here. So Michaela, thank God, thank God, nim Nimides are nimbered. <laughs> that was pretty great. <laughs> yeah, this happens every time I do a video making fun of old Jordy Peterson. Is I get this. This thought pops into my head of, oh, oh man, we're making fun of a demented old man. We're making fun of a troubled old Canadian. I picture Jordan Peterson at his laptop, you know, and somehow he's, he, the light hits his screen and he sees his reflection. He's, ah! You know, like, uh, here's another good one. He posted this two days ago. It's a picture of an Evian. It's a picture of an Evian bottle of a plastic bottle of water. It's a picture of a plastic water bottle, okay? <laughs> and he writes... There are cathedrals everywhere for those with the eyes to see. <laughs> there are Chinese milking facilities everywhere. <laughs> if, if you have eyes to see, if you don't. There are everywhere if you have the eyes to see, if you have the courage to see, you piece of shit, you. Holy fing. And here's another amazing one. Uh, so he tweets a picture of himself, and it says, Twitter, Twitter suit. The tie is composed of micro, of micro. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Elon Musk. At Elon Musk heads. The tie is composed of micro Elon Musk heads, as it should be. Okay. Okay, so remember everything we've seen <laughs> so far. And then check out this thumbnail. <laughs> what do you do? Ooh, oh, I'm looking into the eyes of the ancient times. Whoa, well, yeah. Okay, here we go with another Jordy tweet. And man, I, I would advise Jordy if you're worried, oh, you're worried about the brainwashing from the CCP and the, uh, the propaganda. Oh, they're people. They try to brainwash their people and control them. I would look a little bit closer to home, Jordy, on that one, because he retweets the Young America Foundation, which is like, look, all mainstream media is propaganda. New York Times, da, da, da. it's all crap. It's all crap. But there's even like a worse, more obvious version of this propaganda. It's called the Young America's Foundation. What does this say, man? Slam dunk, Abby Roth. Abby, come on, it's Abby Shapiro. Obliterates. The feminist obliterates the feminist revolution. Okay. That's a pretty, oh, okay. Abby Chapeno does this. 
And this, all over the feminist revolution. <laughs> and then she looks at it and she says, Toilet. <laughs> okay, that's enough. So we've established two things. Okay. One, the careerist idea of success and the so-called freedom of singleness at the expense of family is a modern invention of the left as part of its attempt to destroy traditional values. <laughs> okay. And two, yeah. just like everything else concocted by the left, yes. it gets human nature completely wrong. Absolutely. And will make you miserable if you believe in it. Now that I agree with. Armed with that information, the yeah. next step is to prepare yourselves to deal with the pressure you'll be under to oh. conform to this idea of success as you enter college and the real world. Right. Uh, let's just take a moment to appreciate that Ben Chapino, he's trying to help his sister out, you know? He's like, hey. Hey! He's like, hey, get in on my grift. You know, he's trying to work her into the, this scam, this money-making scam that he has going. It's almost insane enough to be kind of sweet. But anyway, to address what uh, Abby said there, um, these talking points sound a little bit old, even for a decrepit old dinosaur organization like the Young America's Foundation. We get it. Abby Shapiro is trying to get a career. She's trying to tap dance her little way into a career, you know? But uh, even even one of the most, pop the most popular, well-known mainstream leftist, Bernard Saunders, he goes like this a lot. It is a little bit it's weird. Weird. Okay, thank you. He's always dr droning on and on in ad nauseum about working, working families, blah, blah, blah. Working families are struggling, blah, blah, blah. He's always talking about families, this and that. Families don't have enough money. You know, it's too expensive to have a kid. Families, families, families with old Bernard Saunders. That's the most well-known leftist in the country. And then you go, you know, and then you go like one level down, you know, a guy, a guy who runs an organization that actually writes policy for Bernard Saunders, Matt Brunig and the people's policy crap, whatever that thing's called. You know, it's all, oh, there should be more resources for families. Uh, there should be a child uh, credit. You know, there should be, you know, you should get money. You should get paid time off. You should do all these things that would encourage and help uh, people who want to have families. <laughs> so it's really, it's actually the opposite. It's only the left who are like in trying to encourage people to have families. There's liberals who you got like Bill Maher was like, uh. he's like, I'll never have a family because I like to smoke weed and go to the Playboy Mansion, you know, whatever crap that. Whatever crap that dope is doing, you know, I like to smoke weed in Amsterdam, <laughs> you know, whatever that moron's doing, you know, and then there are right wingers. <laughs> then there are right wingers who want to put your kid to back to work, who want to roll back child labor laws so they could <laughs> throw your kid into what, like a mine or something. They could throw your kid's little ass to work in a factory the only really the only people who seem to give any kind of a crap about family or kids are definitely what we would call the left bernard all these people and worst of all this abby chapeno does not have it she does not have it i'm sorry but you do not have what we call in the business abby you do not have in what the business of show what we call it it's called charisma ever heard of it you need a dose of it, that's for sure. It was never the case that men somehow uniquely benefited from the soulless, careerist pursuit of money and status without room for God, love, family, and community. Okay. Some men do live that way, but no ben but no men benefit from it. Oh, got it. Okay, great. The, women the other thing that's funny about this uh, Sister Shapiro clip is, uh, is that she's like, it is an empty life, man. Just sort of this blind pursuit of, uh, of money and fame. There's only one way to describe it, which is disgusting. <laughs> and then you look at it and you go, what? This empty careerism is truly disgusting. And, it, and it's like, well, Abby, what are you, what are you doing exactly? What more of an empty pursuit of money is there than, oh yeah, I'll repeat these uh, old aged, uh, stupid, make no sense talking points for money and to build my uh, conservative uh, brand that my brother has profited off of. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but you don't do this. <laughs> you don't. It's empty, the thing that I'm doing. Okay, moving along in the crazy grandpa tweet party. Uh, this this one's amazing. This one's great. Jordy retweets uh, some somebody, and it says, Take notes. Take notes. Hashtag go woke, go broke. Hashtag climate scam. <laughs> Jordy retweets this, and it's a guy who screenshot. This is topical. This is Silicon Valley Bank, which has collapsed. This is what he's retweeting: that you go go woke, go broke. Silicon Valley Bank commits to five billion in sustainable finance 
and carbon neutral operations to support a healthier planet. Oh, great. what a great bank. So I guess what Jordy is implying and what this guy who he's retweeting is implying is, oh, they and they do this a lot with like, you know, investing in the, the stock market and all kind of crap. Oh, these companies, they're, they're doing woke things. That's the problem with capitalism. They're doing too much woke stuff. They're trying too hard to solve the climate change and all this. They're doing that too much. <laughs> That's the problem. So is that true? Did this uh, bank go broke because they committed to $5 billion in sustainable finance and carbon neutral operations, blah, 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 blah? Is that why they went broke? Let's read in Barron's, which is a business crap. Not, not, it's not Jacobin or the communism.com. It's Barron's. Silicon Valley Bank's mistake was investing in longer-term mortgage securities with more than 10 years to maturity rather than shorter maturity. Oh, <laughs> boring. Treasuries or mortgage issues maturing in less than five years. This led to asset liability mismatch. Here's another. Oh, and Jordy's on TV. He, oh, how does he do all that? How does he retweet all this and go on TV? This has 1 million views in one day. It has 1 million views where? That's on YouTube. <laughs> Sniffing. And this is great. Here we go. Along the same lines as the previous one. Here we go. We are not going to do that. In fact, we have an anti-energy policy in place, oh. especially in any places that are ruled essentially by the left. And the <laughs> consequence of that is... Uh, where would well, those I places... Just where would those places be that are ruled by the left exactly? And the consequence of that Canada? is... Canada? Uh, well, I just saw today, UNICEF just released a report showing that there's been a 25% increase in the last year and a half in the number of women and children that are starving around the world. It's a direct consequence of the increase in energy prices, which are in themselves a direct consequence of anti-industrial policies put in place by hypothetically well-meaning, deluded, pseudo-religious, environmental worshippers of the apocalypse. It's, it's an appalling situation. Look at Tuck. Even, it's, Tuck's, it's like even Tuck's got to do a little bit of that on that one. So I guess Jordan Peterson's kind of talking about the uh, European energy crisis here. I'm not going to go into a whole boring, insufferable thing about that. But uh, I just like, it, it's actually interesting. You could read about it. Of course, Jordan Peterson has no idea what he's talking about. But, you know, Jordan Peterson wants people to think about the world in a more adult, you know, oh, oh grow up, grow up, clean your room and grow up and think about things like an adult. But uh, what's the explanation for a, an energy crisis in Europe? Uh, environmentalists, environmentalists, they're a cult. That's kind of interesting. I did not know this. They're, vir they're environmentalists, they're a cult, and they run everything. Okay, last but not least, in our tour of making fun of Grandpa, you know, he's having a hard time. Give him a break. I was looking around, and I found this on a subreddit that mostly makes fun of Jordan Peterson called Enough Peterson Spam. It's really funny. You should go check it out. But somebody found this. I don't know how they found this. It's kind of amazing. You know, Jordy Peterson, he's a big figure. I mean, look at this. A million views in one day for this uh, piece of crap, this absolute piece of turd. A million views in one day, Tucker Carlson. So he's still a big figure. He's still a big, uh, he's still a big political figure and public intellectual. And somebody dug this up, which I thought was really funny, before he was famous. Before he was famous. Check this out. This is pretty, uh, fa this is pretty funny. And you cannot believe anything on Reddit. So I had to like click into this and be like, is this real? And this looks legit so far. Peterson exposed by courts as a sham expert, as a sham expert witness in 2009 and 2012. This is so funny. I, I love stuff like this. And I, and I don't totally blame Peterson trying to get in, you know, make some money or whatever from this. Here are some snippets in the judge's conclusions uh, about Jordy Peterson. So the judge is talking about a report uh, that Jordy wrote, and this is what the judge says about it. It comes as close to, quote, junk science, unquote, as anything that I have ever been asked to consider. Hey, here's the judge talking about another report that Jordy Peterson uh, brought to the court. It contains less than two pages of references to articles that Dr. Peterson found by doing an online search of online material on that topic. Dr. Peterson has no expertise in that area. So there we go. Old Jordy, he made it. You know, he was like, oh, maybe I can do some kind of score court scam crap. And then now he's now he's got the, he did it. He made it. He made it good for him. 
you know, he figured out something that worked. To do this, to do, to get this, by doing this. Jordan Peterson, he's a very weird guy and always funny to make fun of, even though he's on the biggest cable news show, getting all one million views on the internet in one day. So guys, it is Monday, and that does make us go... You know, not to be childish about it, but that is what it is. That is what it is, and there's no way around it. But we keep on trucking, and we say... That's how it flows. <laughs> okay, it is, all right. You know, and if you look at the calendar, and you see that's Monday, and you're sort of like, oh, I gotta do this again, just always remember, you know, it makes you a little sad, just always remember that... Generally speaking, Chinese people look Chinese. Always remember that, okay? Well, the guys, talk to you later. And bye-bye. Oh, hey, guys. Guess what? You're not even getting the whole show. If you want every episode and a whole bunch of other sh**, subscribe on Patreon. Subscribe on Patreon for as little as two bones. Just click the stupid little link below the video in the comments. See, right there. There you go. Click it, and that, yep. When you become a patron for as little as two bones, you get the Tuesday, Thursday, patron-only episodes. Ah! You also get the weekly book Oblega show where we talk about important books. The questions and comments th th thing where you can ask questions and make comments and all this crap. And the weekly behind-the-scenes show. All for less than the price of a rancid Charleston chew. And for only 25 putrid little dollars, you can become a producer. That's right, support the show and get your name up here. Look at these people. Look at these, these people, it make the show possible, okay? God. I mean, without these beautiful people, this show goes straight into the dumpster. A rotten, you know, just wet, disgusting dumpster, you know, behind a restaurant. So it's, there's old milk in there. That's where this show ends up without these people. Is that what you want? Okay, I guess it's what- Okay, no, I guess it's what you want. I'll just leave. Nope, 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 it's done. It's too late. Okay? Okay? Here we go. Here's the dump truck. Here's the dump truck come to pick up the show. This is what would happen with no producers. Thank you.